Uh, my mindset during pass protection, you know, as soon as I get to the line, you know, thinking what, what was the play. You know, I, I get the play, I get the call, then I start looking at the defenses. You know, if we, if we see different defense, you know, we'll relate to the other offensive linemen and we'll start, we'll start communicating and calling calls. And then, you know, you, I'm kind of looking at the linebackers and the safeties even before I'm looking at the down man. And then once I get that figured out, then, you know, I start looking at the guy that I have, either if it's a one-on-one -on -one or we're sliding the protection. You know, I'll look at the feet, I'll look at his hands. If he's if he's feet are level, then he's probably going to stunt inside. You know, if his feet are back, you know, he's probably going to come up the field. So, you know, you kind of kind of take that all into consideration. And then as, you know, you're evaluating all this within three seconds of time. Uh, my first concern with pass protection is, you know, if they're blitzing, so what's my guy going to do in front of me? And then if a game's going to happen, because that, you know, one guy's trying to pick the other guy while the other, other guy runs around and makes the sack. So those are the big concerns, and then, you know, again, you can see that by different things that tip you off, if the linebackers are leveled or something, and you look at the feet, you look at the hands. And, you know, that's a big part of film watching. You know, you get, you see the tendencies and you see the different processes. So when you're on the field and you see these, boom, you know what to do. Uh, my techniques in pass protection, when I'm going one-on-one, -on -one, I'm looking at the defensive lineman that I'm going against. So if his feet, you know, are, are squared or are leveled, and I'm probably thinking he's going to come inside, so I'm going to set a little bit with my inside foot first instead of kicking out or kicking back. You know, if I think he's going to come up field, then I'm going to take a little kick back, but I'm not going to give away my inside. And if I'm thinking, you know, there's going to be a game's going to happen, you know, they're going to do a stunt, then you know I'm relaying that with the my, with the right tackle, and then we're going to evaluate it and then pass it off once it happens. A great pass protector, I feel like, has to be quick twitch. You know. Great feet, great hands. He's got to be able to stay back. He can't be leaning, you know. And he's got to be—he's got to be nasty, and he's got to be able to hold his ground. Because, I mean, you think about it, I'm—I'm I'm setting back in my stance when this guy's running full speed at me. So sometimes you want to close that gap so he's not able to do that. So he can't do anything. You want to get your hands on him first, and you want to get inside and you can grab him a little bit. How how the O line, how we communicate. Uh, I feel like it's pretty special. You know, I've, I've been around here for three years, but this group, you know, we seem to be pretty tight, and it, it, it can be just one word that everyone knows what's going on instead of like explaining yourself, you know, talking a lot of words, you just want one word. And everyone gels together, so all we gotta say is one thing, we're on the same page, everyone's sliding the protection, so uh, it's pretty special with the communication that we have. entrance. You've seen it before and it never grows old. the throw, got a receiver coming back, he doesn't see him, he said, throws it deep down the field, Fournier said, he's got it, at the top!